Hi there, this is Ranjit and as you can see, I'm here with Gaurav and uh, actually I, I've, it's been over like seven days since I've been using the iPhone and luckily Gaurav was also here and you have been actually using this for about eight, nine days. Two so weeks, just, yeah. Almost two weeks. So quickly wanted to share a quick thoughts uh, kind of a video and uh, I actually um, am sticking to the max variant. Uh, Same, max, 512 GB, everything maxed out. <laughs> Everything maxed out. Yeah, it's a 512 GB. So just quickly wanted to share thoughts about it. And to be frank, I thought uh, I won't like the larger size uh, variant. Uh, and I thought I'll just test the max because many of you were inquiring more about the max mm -hmm. than the regular one. But after two days, uh, yes, the first day it was a little bit comfortable because I was using the iPhone 10. You were also iPhone 10, yeah. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, it will be very big. But after two days, I feel uh, this is a really good. Now, size. now this feels normal, and the iPhone 10 feels small. No, dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, it is slightly on the heavier side, uh, but again, you will get used to it because even the iPhone 10, Gaurav, was a little bit on the uh, heavier side. Heavier side no, like the, the weight adds to the quality, like it, it, it feels good in the hand, it yeah. feels substantial. Yeah, so it feels good, but yeah, there is weight, but you will get used to it within 2-3. Yeah, and weight is because of the steel frame, steel like with frame. aluminium, the weight is reduced, but the steel frame with the glass on the back, like it feels premium, but not the premium for the price, I would say. Like, yeah, not, the pricing not, is not worth the price. Yeah, pricing is really, really. Uh, even in my unboxing, I said that they skimmed on a lot of things. Still, skipping on adapter, fast, dongle. Fast charger is not there. There's no dongle and charging. It's, forget like, fast charger. Give me a normal charger, man. Like this is a five watt charger. Yeah, at least a ten watt would have been helping. You know, in this case, maybe adding the dongle or maybe reducing the price a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, battery level. Uh, many people are uh, talking about battery life. We have now used it practically. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. using it as your daily. Phone. This is my daily machine, and it is like almost ten to fifteen percent better than the iPhone ten. So a full day, no problem. Even like for uh, no, like normal use, maybe one and a half days. Yeah. yeah. I don't get. The anxiety at the uh, end of the day as as we are traveling right now it's yeah. only on mobile data Why then also sometimes even with the hotspot hot still spot. working here but at the end of the day also there's not that anxiety i have to run and charge it and now the good thing is uh, we have detailed uh, stats for the battery in the uh, yeah, yeah. Finally, so, you're getting a good screen battery time and everything yeah. because of iOS 12. Yeah. And I like this is a good thing that I like about iOS 12. Uh, uh, this update actually has improved the performance of even older phones have become faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the iPhone 10, like the day I did it, it felt like faster. almost one and a half times faster, like very, very snappy. And many users like uh, have commented that they have the iPhone 6 and the 6 set. Those also became faster with this update. So it's a good update. No, it's, it's good that Apple is not slowing down the phones. Yeah, as in uh, a way, yeah, they did a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, coming back to this device, yeah. big improvement, uh, Gaurav, what I have noticed, I'll tell my experience, then you can share, uh -huh. is the rear facing camera. I'm seeing a substantial improvement and that is because of the new HDR options that they have the given. smart HDR. Dynamic range is better, contrast is better, colors also pop a little bit more. Even the portrait mode if you simulate those f-stops from 1.4 till f-16 it like looks realistic I would say. So rear camera is definitely an improvement mm -hmm. but front camera I'm not happy. Yeah, man. I would say the uh, iPhone 10 original camera was rubbish. Hmm. Here they have improved it a little, but but again, still the front-facing camera. I personally don't like it because it does some auto beauty or something. Yeah, that, like, you know, that. your skin tone. <laughs> The texture, it just goes away. Yeah, it, it smooths up your skin. Okay, yeah. other providers are also doing it, but Apple... There, there, there should be some option. On-off option, off -off, give yeah. me an you know, on-off option, right? No, but it is like doing on its own and sometimes it might look good, but majority of the times it just it's looks weird. It's a little bit weird. Yeah. Weird is the word I would say. Yeah. So, so yeah. this is good, but yeah, in the front-facing camera, we also have the Face ID system running in along with that. Face ID, I felt like kind of in, like improvement. Slight in improvement, speed, I would yeah. say. This is second generation obviously, so there is a slight improvement, but uh, yeah. No, but Apple didn't claim anything at the time of Keynote that it would maybe be twice as fast or some like, you know, 1.5 times the fast uh, speed, but I see slight improvement. It, it works smoothly in one motion. Yeah, you can just swipe and it just uh, does that. Yeah. So slight improvement over there and uh, what else? Uh, okay, let's talk about the eSIM functionality. Uh -huh. uh, now, all uh, iPhones are actually sort of dual SIM, yeah. but in India and in most of the regions, you are having one physical SIM and the second SIM is actually an eSIM. Hmm. And many people are not aware Finally, of Finally, Apple did it. Finally, <laughs> we are able but, to use But those. as of now, let's talk about India. As of now, the eSIM functionality has not been enabled. It's just and with Airtel and Geo. As of now, only Airtel and Geo. No, but what I feel is like since uh, it's Apple who is doing all this, 
very soon majority of the people will start doing it majority yeah, I mean, of the operators even even i believe some of the upcoming flagships might, might come with the eSIM functionality and the advantage of eSIM is that uh, for example you travel a lot we i also travel a lot is that you can have n numbers of eSIMs on your phone for yeah. example if i go to dubai i can have a dubai eSIM i can have a us eSIM so whenever i go to let's say dubai or uh, maybe you can US, just switch that on i just select that eSIM and that will get activated so it's like you can just store n number of n number of sims and then you will just activate at the time just whatever one you say, whatever which, you whichever, whichever, whichever you want yeah so that's a good thing and eSIM some functionality i asked apple india uh, they said that will be rolled out very soon coming to india also i think within 2018 i believe before yeah, no, no. Yeah. within within a month or so it will yeah. come out Great. and uh, if you really want the dual sim uh, physical ones the china units and, and even the, the hong, hong kong, kong units have that Dual nano SIM. But again, yeah, if you're living in India, get the Indian variant. Uh, I'm looking for the day when Apple adds a triple slot in the iPhone. They, they can enable two eSIMs later on. Who knows? <laughs> no, like I want a memory card as well. Wow, forget it. Because keep like... dreaming, my friend. Keep dreaming, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, about the speakers also, uh, I did like the iPhone 10 speakers also. They were stereo. Here we see a slight improvement. The depth is great. Yeah. And uh, like it actually gives you that stereo effect. Stereo effect. It gives loudness is also improved. Uh, yeah, it is louder, and I would uh, say maybe you please contradict me if I'm wrong. As of now, uh, today's uh, date, whatever October hmm. 4th, hmm. I think so. These are the best TV speakers on a smartphone available in India. Yeah, because maybe Razer Phone 2, maybe, like, maybe. Sorry, not the Razer Phone 2, there's just the normal Razer Phone. There's no Razer Phone 2 as of now, but the Razer Phone speakers people What's are to be, appreciating yeah. because they're like. Because it's huge in size, it's huge, huge, huge. but yeah, for the normal phones, like compared to any other flagships, like maybe the Samsungs or like any yeah, other yeah. brand, this feels much better. The stereo speaker implementation yeah. is really good on this one. You feel that, yeah. Whenever you're watching trailers or whatever, you have that sound effect. It works. So that way, I like. Now moving to uh, cons again. The India pricing is crazy as we dollar know. multiplied by hundred. <laughs> Simple maths. Whatever the US price, just add double zero. It's the Indian price. <laughs> yeah, triple nine dollars was the price for the tennis. So in India, it's triple nine double zero. 99,900. Correct, yeah. correct, correct. So, yeah, the pricing is absurd. I, I don't think that that's going to change uh, now anytime soon. And I don't like the fact uh, that the charger is uh, slow charger. Slow charger. Slowest, slowest, and, slowest and, charger. And, would say. and this is a world record. Uh. I think so. The other phones, all phones uh, do fast charging or whatever with the supplied charger are faster than wireless charging. But this one. Uh, charges faster with the wireless charger compared to the supplied, supplied uh, 5 watt charger. The supplied is 5 watt and wireless is 7.5 7 watt. And actually I did charge it quite a bit with the wireless charger and charges pretty quickly. And sometimes it just like it, it just won't charge if you just try charging it because of charge some gate. issues. Charge gate. Yeah. And it app happened to my unit about twice. Uh -huh. Your unit it did. No, no, no. It is working fine. But again, Apple is releasing an update about that. But again, I hope they also release an update about that front facing camera that is the skin smooth. Just thing. to toggle that system on and off. Give an option of on and off. Yeah. Simple as that. Because some people might like that beauty mode, but normally it just doesn't look that good. I so know, yeah. yeah, if it's an option, okay, we can accept that. Talking about the charge thing. Maybe Apple can invent something new in the next iPhone that's called Tap to Charge. So, <laughs> tap to charge. Tap to charge. <laughs> <laughs> so what about that? They also removed the, what do you say, dongle, uh, 3.5mm headphone jack dongle in this one. No, see, the dongle was the best selling accessory from Apple. And even in stores like Best Buy and stuff, it was the best selling product in the electronics category. So let's not, because, not even because, give it. Because people were having one down in the box, they started using it. Maybe some you lost lose it, it. Some, you, some, you like, lose maybe it. you can break it mm -hmm. and then you get one more. So this time maybe Apple decided like, okay, we'll not give in the first place. So you need to get at least one and then maybe multiple. So I, personally, I didn't like it because considering the cost of the device, it's such a small... We should get all those basic things coming together in one box here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you are okay with the price, I would say go with it. Uh, but again, if you already have the iPhone 10, there is no reason I would say yeah. you need... Better, better weight was this is being the S, uh, the S generation, not much improvement. We know the next, the outside, next generation yeah. will, they'll change Maybe the Maybe they'll remove the notch or something. It, it no. looks... No, but like see, we see the S line is almost the same as the normal one. So this design is same as the iPhone 10. Next year... They will, change the, change. they will change the design, obviously. Yeah. So design will go different and talking about like speeds and stuff, iOS 12 update on the iPhone 10 feels as, as fast, fast as this one. Yeah. So... Yeah, that also feels fast. This also feels fast. <laughs> and those milliseconds worth of difference is not no worth I would the price. Say it's an upgrade for people who are having iPhone seven or lower, and yeah. you have the budget. Yeah, of course, the budget then is you the, 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 the huge budget always comes in as a prime concern here. Then you see a huge improvement. I yeah. would say not even the eight plus people. Some people have asked me if I have the eight plus. 
if you are okay with those thick bezels on the 8 plus stick with it the 8 plus is still a very fast phone or maybe get the 10r that's coming 10r is coming yeah that's also we're the 26th test, october we're going to test that uh, display is the differentiating factor big, there because it's thing. lcd display and uh, there's single camera there's no okay, but the camera, camera is almost the same they say on this one no it does all those things it does portrait modes and everything yeah. single camera yeah. so yeah let's see that and that's also a good choice but again i, I also want to see how is the display on that because it's just a 720p screen on a 6.1 and they call it the budget iphone worth rupees 76600 so let's see that so these are our quick thoughts about uh, the iPhone. good phone but not perfect of course obviously nothing is perfect but looks good feels good works does yeah. all the tasks like no complaints but yeah those small few things and this is a phone for people who were used to the max size phones yeah. but with iphone 10 they didn't have a choice now you have the choice yeah Simple as that. So these are our raw thoughts. Have any questions uh, posted down? Maybe when I do my full in-depth review of the pros and cons, I'll Or maybe that. you can just comment about your dream iPhone. The next iPhone, like what all you would want to see in that iPhone. Keep dreaming. Maybe Mr. Cook sees that comment. <laughs> Keep dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's it for now for this video. And guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not subscribed to Gaurav channel, hit the subscribe button. And that's it for now. Take care, guys. Catch you guys later. Peace. He wants to see you in his next video. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.